In this lesson, we learn about cubic polynomial. Now, what is a cubic polynomial? A polynomial is said to be cubic if its degree is equal to 3. Let us take some examples of cubic polynomials. For this polynomial, we see that the degree, the highest power is 3. Hence, this is a cubic polynomial. Here is yet another example of a cubic polynomial, degree 3. Hence, it is a cubic polynomial. x cubed plus 1. This is also a cubic polynomial because its degree is 3. So, all polynomials with degree 3 are called cubic polynomials. Now, the general form of a cubic polynomial would be like a x cubed plus b x square c x plus d. Now, this is cubic because it has got degree 3. So, this would be a general form of a cubic polynomial and if we examine the cubic polynomial, it has not more than four terms. So, number of terms for a cubic will be not more than four. Four or less than four. The number of zeros uh, alpha, beta and gamma. That is, it could have three zeros, it could have two zeros, it could have one zero or no zeros. But it will never have four zeros. It cannot have more than three zeros. And the degree of a cubic is three. In this slide, we will see the relationship between the coefficients and the zeros. So, we know our cubic polynomial is written as x cubed plus b x square six x, cx plus d. And the zeros are alpha, beta and gamma. So, the first relationship is alpha plus beta plus gamma is always equal to minus b by a which is coefficient of x cube that is its b is coefficient of x square over coefficient of x cube that is b here and a next we'll get on to the relation next relation is alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma and uh, that is c over a which is coefficient c we know is coefficient of x over coefficient of a a is coefficient of x cube and last we have alpha beta gamma equal to minus d over a which is minus coefficient uh, d is a constant term, we don't call it coefficient, it is a constant term. Here d is a constant term, divide by coefficient of x cube. Here however it is minus. So these are the relationship we need to remember. I'll just go over them again. So we have alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a, alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma is c by a alpha beta gamma is minus d by a in this slide we will see how to make a cubic polynomial how to write a cubic polynomial when the roots are given to us say the roots are alpha beta and gamma and the formula for this is you have first uh, x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma x square plus alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma x minus alpha beta gamma. So this is the formula 
we use to make a cubic polynomial. Verify that 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the polynomial. So we have p of x equal to 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3. We've got to show that 3 is a 0. So we do p of 3. So wherever there is x we put 3. So this would be 3 square 11 3 minus 3 and when you work this out you will get your answer equal to 0. Therefore we can say that 3 is a 0 of the polynomial. Now let us check for minus 1. So again we have p of x 3 x cube minus 5 x square 11 x minus 3. Now we have to check for minus 1. So p of minus 1 3 minus 1 cube 5 x minus 1 square 11 minus 1 minus 3 and you work this out also you get 0. So minus 1 is the 0 of the polynomial and now we check for minus 1 by 3. So we know p of x equal to 3 x cube minus 5 x square 11 x minus 3. So we have p of minus 1 by 3. So wherever there is x we put minus 1 by 3 cube, 5 minus 1 by 3 square, 11 minus 1 by 3 minus 3. You work this out and again you get 0. So p of minus 1 by 3 equal to 0. So minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of the polynomial. So this polynomial has got 3 zeros. 1 is 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3. In the next part, we need to verify the relationship this between the zeros and its coefficient. So here is our coefficient. Uh, here is our polynomial. We compare it with the standard ax cube, px square, cx plus d. And on comparing, we get a equal to 3, b equal to minus 5, c equal to minus 11 and d equal to minus 3. And the zeros were given to us earlier. The zeros were given as alpha, 1 0 was 3, then we had beta minus 1 and we had gamma which is minus 1 by 3. Let's do the first verification. We know alpha plus beta plus gamma which means alpha is 3, beta is minus 1 and minus 1 by 3. We, if you calculate this you get here this will be 5 by 3. On the other side we will find what is uh, coefficient of x square over coefficient of x cube minus that is minus b by a. So minus we see our b here and this is our a. So minus b by a is minus or minus 5 by 3 which is 5 by 3 and it is equal. So here we have seen that alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by a. Next we have to show the relationship alpha beta, beta gamma and alpha gamma. We have to show it is equal to c by a. So let's put the values of alpha, beta, beta, gamma. So we know alpha is 3, beta is minus 1, beta again minus 1, alpha is minus 1 by 3, alpha is 3, gamma is minus 1 by 3. When we work this out, minus 3 uh, plus 1 by 3 minus 1. And when you work this, you get minus 11 by 3. Now, and C by A, if you see, is also, this is C and A is uh, 3. So here we saw alpha beta, beta gamma, alpha gamma is C by A. The next is to show alpha beta gamma equal to minus D by A. Alpha was minus 3, beta it was not minus 3, it was 3, we just do this again. So alpha was 3, 
beta minus 1 gamma minus 1 by 3. So this would be now 1. Now minus d by a will also be minus d minus of uh, minus 3 and a is 3. So that also becomes 1. So we saw alpha beta gamma equal to minus d by a. Find a cubic polynomial with the sum, the sum of the products of zeros taken two at a time and the product of zeros is 2 minus 7 minus 14. So we just take up the first part. First, how do we make a quadratic polynomial, a cubic polynomial? We know it is x cube minus alpha plus beta gamma plus gamma x square plus alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma x minus alpha beta gamma. So here first we need to know what is alpha plus beta plus gamma. That is sum of the roots. So sum of the roots is given is 2. So this is equal to 2. Next we must know alpha beta, beta gamma, alpha gamma and that is sum of the products of the zeros taken two at a time. So alpha beta, beta gamma and alpha gamma here we see is minus 7. So we put this as minus 7 and last we need to find alpha beta gamma. It's a product and the product here of the zeros is given as minus 14. So this is equal to minus 14 and we put up in the equation, we know equation x cube, we have alpha beta gamma x square plus alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma x minus alpha beta gamma. Let's go ahead and put our values. We know alpha beta gamma is 2, so this becomes now minus, this is 2 x square then plus alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma we see here is minus 7 so this becomes now minus 7 x and minus alpha beta gamma is minus 14 so this is minus 14 so it be x cube minus 2 x square minus 7 x plus 40. This is your cubic polynomial. Verify the numbers given below along with the cubic polynomial are the zeros. So here is my cubic polynomial f of x 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2 and these are the zeros which means alpha equal to 2 beta Let's do it again. Alpha is 1 by 2, beta is 1 and gamma is minus 2. We have to first find is 1 by 2 the 0. So all we have to do is put f of 1 by 2. So wherever there is x, I need to put 1 by 2 and solve it. So instead of x, I put 1 by 2. And you go ahead and solve it, you will get the answer 0. So if f1 by 2 equal to 0, therefore I can say 1 by 2 is 0 of polynomial. Next I have to check for 1. So my f of x is 2x cubed plus x square 5x plus 2. So I put f of 1. So wherever there is x, I put 1 plus 2. And if you solve this, this also turns out to be 0, which means f of 1 equal to 0. Therefore, 1 is 0 of polynomial. Now for this again, the last, we've got to show that minus 2. So we have to do f of minus 2. So wherever there is x, I put minus 2. So x minus 2 square, then minus 2 plus 2. And if you work this out, also you get 0. So if f of minus 2 equal to 0, therefore I can say minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. 
Next we have to show the relationship. So this is our polynomial and uh, we know alpha, beta, gamma is alpha is 1 by 2 beta 1 and gamma minus 2. So when I compare with uh, ax cube plus bx square cx plus 2 when I compare with this I get my a equal to 2 b 1 c minus 5 and this is our d this is wrong I've tried d here and this is d equal to 2 so let's go ahead and do the first relationship the first relationship is to find alpha plus beta plus gamma and then to find minus p by a so alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha is 1 by 2 beta we know is 1 gamma is minus 2 and when you work this out you get minus 1 by 2 and minus b by a you see is, this is b and this is a so minus b by a is minus 1 over 2 so we have got alpha beta gamma equal to minus b by a so we have shown this relationship so here again is our polynomial and the roots we know our a is 2 b plus 1 c minus 5 and d is 2 we have to show that alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma is equal to c by a so let's put the value we know alpha is 1 by 2 beta is 1 beta 1 then we have alpha is minus 2 then here we have alpha which is uh, 1 by 2 and gamma is minus 2 so we have 1 by 2 minus 2 minus 1 and we work this out to get minus 5 by 2 now c by a here is c and this is a so if you see up c by a will also minus 5 by a so thus we see that uh, alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma equal to c by a here again for the last so a is 2 we know b is 1 c minus 5 d is plus 2 so we have product alpha beta gamma we have to show it is equal to minus d by a so 1 by 2 is alpha beta is 1 gamma minus 2 this works out as minus 1 and the minus d by a this is d and this is a so oh this is d and this is a so minus 2 of 2 which is minus 1 so alpha beta gamma is minus d by a so it is proved find a cubic polynomial the sum the product of the product of the sum of the product of its root taken two at a time and the product of zeros are 3 minus 1 and minus 3 so first sum is given as 3 which means alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to 3 then they have said sum of the product of its zeros taken two at a time which means alpha beta two at a time beta gamma alpha gamma two at a time equal to minus 1 and then they have said that the product of the zeros is minus 3 so alpha beta gamma is minus 3 and if you remember it is x square the formula x square minus alpha plus beta gamma x plus alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma x this is x square minus alpha beta gamma so we need to put our values here we put x square now here we'll put the value of 3 because alpha beta gamma here is 3 so this is 3 here then we have plus we have alpha beta gamma is minus 1 so this is our alpha beta gamma here so it is minus 1 alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma so that is minus 1 and uh, last we have alpha beta gamma and we have alpha beta gamma is minus 3 so this value is minus 3 so we put minus 3 
So value x square minus 3x minus 1x minus 3. This is our cubic polynomial.